To build this clap controlled LED, you need a few things. Starting with LED strip. This is a 5 volt, 2.5 euro warm white LED strip from AliExpress that's connected through USB and you can see me powering it up from a power bank. It doesn't heat up that much and it's mostly safe to handle because 5 volts normally cannot penetrate your skin. To turn LED on and off you need some kind of switch and since this is DC and not AC you can use MOSFET. This is an N-channel MOSFET. It will use, be used to interrupt the neutral connection. To control the MOSFET I'll be using 80Tiny85 microcontroller which is just awesome. It's cheap and takes very little power to run. It doesn't matter in this case because we're running off the grid, but I use it for many other battery powered projects. This is the whole thing assembled and the main part here is the microphone. It has a resistor between ground and output pin to bind the output to the zero. If you don't do this, your analog reads will just start from a random point. Same for the MOSFET, you need to bind the gate to the ground so that it doesn't just stay on. Cheap box from AliExpress. You can get a black one for 80 cents. And it's not very high quality, sadly. Since ATtiny 85 doesn't have USB connection, like many Arduinos, you need some way to program it. And this is a rig I built using some instructions from the internet. I think right now you can get 80 tinies that have USB ports, but they probably use much more power when you run them in your final project. You also need to look out for that little circle on the top of the 80 tiny to make sure you know where the 5 volts go and where the ground go. This is the bill of materials and this particular project costs about 25 euros but you will only use some of them so the ones that you will use are about 6 euros and 72 cents. This is also assuming you have a good USB charger lying around that you can use to power the whole thing in the end. I lowered the threshold a little bit since the video where my daughter struggles to turn it on and off. And I also tried to overcome toggling when you like move things around or vacuuming. But I wasn't very successful. Successful. I'm sure you'll do a better job with an Arduino code attached in the video description. Yeah, sometimes where you're like moving some other equipment on the table, it toggles a little bit annoying, but. It's fun. The code fits on just this one screen and you can see my settings that I used to program the ID Tiny. The threshold is 40, which is a light clap. Thanks for watching.